Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops Cold War In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the QBZ-83, which is the fastest assault rifle in the game. That is a very unusual title to have, and it's probably why the QBZ isn't very popular right now. I think the weapon's a little bit underrated. I think it's better than most people give it credit for, because they don't know how to take advantage of the speed-related properties. The QBZ has excellent recoil and mobility attributes that basically nobody are using right now, so we're going to try to bust those out on In-Depth today and help you all make better QBZ classes. If you'd like to support me, you can use creator code DRIFTOR, which has to be all caps and the O has to be a numerical zero in the store for your battle pass skins or even things in Warzone, and that does make this video sponsored by Activision. The QBZ bullet velocity is 625 meters per second, which is average for assault rifles. It's overall good, it's closer to attack rifle territory, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and the maximum damage range is 47 meters, which is, again, awesome, very much so like the Krig. A lot of the stats on this weapon are actually very much so like the Krig. It's the second best assault rifle in terms of range and only second best by a tiny little bit, so that range variable is just beautiful to me. The base damage on this weapon, however, isn't particularly impressive. It'll deal 32 damage per shot up close, and up close is less than 47 meters in this case, and decrease down to 28 at a range, so not a super high damage weapon, which means that it will take five to six shots to kill if you're hitting your enemy in the body, or four shots to kill with headshots. So again, like the Krig, a lot of headshots to kill on this weapon, though this one does have the normal damage multiplier of 1.4x. It just doesn't change your shots to kill very much. So in my opinion, I don't go for headshots very often with the QBZ. It's not really that hard to do given the fact that it's low recoil. It's just if it doesn't pay out, and especially you'll see as for the reasons I've kitted my classes later, I just don't think it's worth my time. Similar to the Krig, barrel attachments are not required for this weapon to be good. It's already got excellent rate of fire, well, acceptable rate of fire, but it's got good bullet velocity and good range. So a lot of the things that you would normally want to boost with a barrel aren't required for this weapon, though I'm still going to use them for reasons you will see later. The QBZ rate of fire is 681 rounds per minute, which is average-ish. Average for assault rifles is around 700, so this is just a smidge slower than average in terms of rate of fire, which means it'll be a little bit forgiving, or at least normal feeling. And with the lower damage and the lower rate of fire, what this means is that the QBZ body shot time to kill is 352 milliseconds, which is the second slowest in the assault rifle class. If I'm not mistaken, the Krig kills the slowest, but only by one frame. This gun only kills one frame faster than the Krig, so it is very much so not a fast killing weapon. One of the things that it does have working in its favor is that the recoil is the lowest of all assault rifles, except for maybe a fully kitted AK-47. There's something goofy about the AK-47 when you fully kit it out that makes it a laser beam, but with the QBZ, its base recoil is incredibly low, perhaps the most accurate assault rifle that there is in general, though it's less precise than the Krig and less precise than a few others. It does kind of wobble around a little bit. The community constantly overlooks the QBZ's ease of use and low recoil. They, they kind of forget that the weapon is almost as easy to use as the Krig or the AK-47. They go for the AK for the time to kill and the Krig for that consistency and just kind of don't think about the QBZ, which is a little bit sad. Iron sights are good enough for small maps, which is one of the surprisingly good places you can use this weapon, but I don't think the iron sights are a good choice for big maps. They're overall pretty clear. The foresight is small and tiny enough where I can track targets pretty easily. Sometimes the barrel gets in the way, but most of the time it's not too bad. It's just that I'm going to be shooting at people at super long ranges. I like 2 and 3x scopes. Now, where this episode of In-Depth gets very interesting is that the QBZ has faster movement speed than any other assault rifle. It's an anomaly in its class. All of the other assault rifles are identical statistically, but this one is way faster. The QBZ base movement speeds compared to normal assault rifles are thus. The base move speed, which is your sprinting, strafing, walking, running, just your overall move speed, is 2.5% higher than any other assault rifle, so it's kind of like getting some of the weaker lightweight perks from previous Call of Duty games. The aim down sights movement speed is 9% faster than others, so it's not maybe like a weaker stalker from past Call of Duty games. You can really move around quicker while aiming down sights with this weapon or strafe faster than any other assault rifle, which makes it easy to get into and out of cover. And when we go to our 
our recommended classes today, we are gonna amplify these bonuses quite a lot and make a very fast QBZ class that you've probably already seen me running around with. QBZ handling stats are also kind of interesting. It'll aim down sights in 283 milliseconds and the sprint out time is 266 milliseconds. Now the sprint out is normal, it's the same as all the other assault rifles, but that ADS time is actually the fastest aim down sight speed amongst all assault rifles. To be fair, it's only the fastest by one frame, but there are other assault rifles that are two, maybe three frames faster, so it still holds the title of fastest, which means you will be able to snap aim targets faster than any other assault rifle, strafe faster, and run faster. So of all the weapons in the game, this is almost our SMG hybrid assault rifle. However, there's one thing goofy going on. The QBZ hipfire is 8 milliradians, normal is 7.5, so your hipfire on this weapon is a little bit worse than normal, I'm not sure why. I think perhaps the devs were afraid that we would use this as too much of an SMG replacement or just kind of slide into people's faces and spray them down, but with the sprint out time being the way it is, and well how good SMGs are, I don't really see this as being necessary. It's a little bit of an unnecessarily bizarre nerf on the weapon, I hope they change that in the future. The reload time is 2.5 seconds which is just perfectly average for assault rifles, nothing really special going on there. But even still, I do prefer having bigger magazines of some kind since you're going to be spraying a lot. You're going to be spraying a lot with this weapon to take advantage of its accuracy and its ease of use, so you'll probably be missing quite a few shots and be in need of either reloading or ammo conservation almost constantly. When it comes right down to it, the QBZ has a lackluster time to kill and it's not as precise as the Krig 6. So a lot of people avoid this weapon. A lot of people look at it as perhaps the worst weapon in the game, and that was my opinion as well until I started really digging into it and trying to find how to use it. I'll admit that it's not as easy to use as the Krig or the AK or some others, but it does have that movement speed and accuracy bonus that is just mm, glorious to work with. Because the QBZ has excellent base accuracy, it's easier to make a high movement speed class than it is for other assault rifles. You saw me doing something similar in the AK episode, and even recommending a few movement speed type attachments for the good old Krig, but those weapons require attachments to really maximize their accuracy bonuses and their long range potential. The QBZ really doesn't. It's pretty good as is without a lot of accuracy attachments and it already has the highest base move speed. So if you're gonna do one of these fast classes, the QBZ is the way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have torn through in depth today at breakneck speeds because the stats on the QBZ are essentially the same as the Krig and a few of the other weapons. The, the, most of the stats on this weapon are pretty standard and pretty boring. And what I really wanted to talk about was that you can move fast with it and show off a few of the classes that I made. This is my basic small map fast movement speed class. What I'm gonna run on at first is the suppressor. Given the fact that I'm going to use this on smaller maps, the damage range and bullet velocity penalties are effectively nothing. And I know that I could probably reduce my recoil or whatever, but since I'm going to be flanking people a lot with this, I would prefer to stay off the radar as much as possible. Then we're going to be running the ultra light barrel, which is a very uncommon one, but it gives me 5% additional strafe speed, which will stack with my other movement speed bonuses and make me zip around corners ever so faster. I'm going to be running the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight, which is almost like a wasted attachment on this. But since the hip fire accuracy is worse, and since I'm effectively gonna be face checking a lot of people with the mobility class, I figured I should probably really tighten up that hipfire accuracy and at least make it usable. Then we're gonna be running the Bruiser Foregrip, which gives me a 3% bonus to movement speed, sprinting speed, shooting moving speed, and aim walking movement speed, which is effectively strafe speed again. So that gives me a ton of movement speed bonuses with no downsides whatsoever. Although I do think it's also acceptable to run the speed grip. If you really just want that sprinting move speed, since you're gonna be sprinting a lot with this weapon, that is totally, totally acceptable. And then for the final attachment, we're gonna be running Raider Stock, which uh, will uh, allow me to do even faster aim walking movement speed and even faster sprint to fire time, which is nice, but the hip fire accuracy is kind of horrible. Thankfully, we've already fixed that with the SWAT grip. And what I have made here is a weapon that more or less retains its base aim down sights time, but sprints out faster, has workable hip fire, actually probably a little bit better than base hip fire, and most importantly, strafes super fast. This QBZ build is all designed around you being able to aim down sights and walk around the map and check corners and then slide back and in and out of cover and head glitches and stuff faster than absolutely anybody. I'm only running five attachments because I'm also going to be loaded down with perks like flak jacket and tack mask and stuff like that. 
that. This class has really been my bread and butter of the QBZ. It's been fun to use. I think it worked better than the AK version of this class that I tried to build. And it's the one that I would recommend that you guys try out the most, though the important thing is that you keep in mind your time to kill is still not amazing on this weapon, so you can't have little face checks with SMGs all the time. You need to be able to put yourself in an advantage to take, a, to take advantage of that fast movement speed. So sliding back and forth between cover and corners is really nice. If you don't like that play style, the next class I have for you is a very basic one that we'll go through very quickly with the QBZ. It's very similar to my eight attachments for most classes. I'm put optics on this one. This one, I really like the microflex. I don't know why, it's just a personal taste. You can put anything on there, but the microflex is great. We're gonna run the SOCOM Eliminator to keep that vertical recoil control down. I'm gonna be running the reinforced heavy barrel to give myself a little bit of bonus in range, or actually it's this huge bonus in range, and a little bit of bullet velocity bonus as well. So we get a little bit of bonuses everywhere else, though I do take some movement speed penalties. We're gonna be using the ember sighting point so that I can shoot people at long ranges and tighten up the hip fire, which is great. Field agent grip, even more recoil reduction. The sound 50 round fast mag of course we're going to run that we're going to run the airborne elastic wrap as well which you guys know all about and then finally the raider stock again so that i can strafe and slide around and uniquely for this one this does make it laser like most of the builds that i recommend like this are very laser like but for the qbz since it's got faster movement speed than normal all of those movement speed penalties are a little bit lesser than what they would be with another assault rifle so it still works out pretty well Guys, that is all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.